My name is Sean Bolin. I am a VMware Certified Instructor with New Horizons out of Omaha, Nebraska. I hold the VMware Certified Instructor certification. I am also a VMware Certified Professional in Data Center, in Cloud, and in End User Computing. I hold the VMware Certified Associate in those same three platforms. I hold CompTIA certifications in A+, Network+, Security+, in Cloud+, and in the Microsoft Certified Program, I hold 47 different Microsoft certifications. The VMware Certified Professional Program is, has really changed my career path. As an instructor, I work kind of both sides of the house. I attain a lot of certifications, obviously, so we need to be certified in things in order to instruct people, but it's also given me the opportunity to grow my career as an instructor, and it's really taken me into areas that I, I didn't even know existed before. And it's allowed me to address audiences, not just in my local area, but it allows me to address audiences across the country and literally across the world. I have students from all over the world in my classes each week, and so it's really been a whole career shift for me as I've gotten into the VMware world. When a student becomes a VMware Certified Professional, the benefits go a couple of different directions. One is personal. They get to achieve goals, and maybe they didn't even think that they could achieve that goal at one time. The other is professional. It really starts to open doors, just as it did in my life. Certification opened doors that I didn't even know were there. My students report back to me the same thing, that it qualifies them for more responsibility at work promotions, obviously the compensation that goes along with that. Uh, it, it really becomes a door opener. And the other thing that the students report back to me is that by becoming certified and having that base of knowledge, they're able to adopt technologies faster. And that's really the, the way the industry is going today. The technology is evolving so quickly. With being a certified professional, they can go back to their business and their business can become that truly driving force that they need it to be. They're not reacting to the change, but they're creating the change and creating the disruption. And it's a huge benefit for people. I've kind of found a formula of two different things. One is the intellectual side of, of preparation, and that's going to be going to class. It's going to be reading books. It's reading the blog post. It's consuming the exam blueprint, you know, the knowledge that I need to gain. But the other part that I really emphasize for myself and for my students is the hands-on portion. You cannot become a competent professional just by reading a book. You have to do it. And so whether you're doing it at work or you're setting up your own lab or you know whatever way you're going to get hands-on using VMware's online hands-on labs, uh, you have to couple the knowledge portion with the experience portion. When a student talks to me about whether they want to go through certification or not, I give them a couple pieces of advice. One is look at areas that you're passionate about and that you're interested. If you're not interested in an area, you're going to find it really difficult to spend the hours you need studying. So it's got to be a passion for you. Whether you're a networking person or a storage person or a server person, there's areas for you. So it's got to be an area of interest. And then the other piece of advice I give students is to not limit yourself, stretch yourself. If you would have asked me you know, 20 years ago when I started this that I would hold about 60 different technical certifications, I would have laughed at you. Um, don't put limits on yourself. You can go so much farther than you think you can. And VCP may be the goal for this year, but then maybe it's the VCIX or even the VCDX. And you can be one of you know, 200 individuals in the world that hold the VCDX certification. The possibilities are there and you just can't limit yourself because there's so far you can go in this industry uh, that you just have to open up your eyes and go for it. The need for certified individuals and, and trained individuals today is greater than it, it ever has been. You hear a lot of people talk about training and certification, you know, the heydays, the early 90s, the 2000s that were past that. I think we're literally on the front edge of another wave. And it's because of the disruptive technologies of virtualization, of cloud. Things are changing so rapidly that the companies need to consume this technology. They need to use this to drive change. And the only way they can do that is with the people. We have to have the engineers that have, first of all, the knowledge that you'll gain from the classes, the knowledge from experience, so that the company can be on the front edge of that wave of technology. And so I think the needs today are greater than they ever have been in our industry. And I see it accelerating. It's not gonna stop. The pace of change is so incredibly rapid now that things are just not gonna slow down. It's gonna get faster. For an individual company, when they're looking at, you know, whether we're gonna invest in our, our employees with training or certification, 
The huge benefit that a company is going to get from that is just knowing that we have the level of competence in our employees, that they're not only going to be able to take advantage of what we need to do them today, but they'll be able to lead the company into tomorrow, into areas we, we can't imagine yet. When a company invests in their employees, they're literally investing in the company because the company doesn't exist without those people to make the technology grow. And you can't just buy a server. You need the individuals to run that server. And so it's really truly an investment in the fundamental nature of the business. You have to invest in the people because the people make your business go.